Hello, hello, hope you're doing awesome. This is gonna be a really quick tutorial on how you can change your mono tracks into stereo tracks and your stereo tracks into mono tracks in Logic. Um, and this is a really cool function. I don't believe this is possible in Pro Tools. Once you have a mono track, you're stuck with that mono track. And once you have a stereo track, you're stuck with that stereo track. So what does that mean? Well, what if you don't even know what kind of a track that is? If you click this little eye icon over here, the inspector, you'll see that track pop up over here on the left hand side. And this is your stereo out or whatever bus it's running through. If you see one circle, that means it's mono. If you see two circles, it means it's stereo. And if you see anything else, it's most likely surround. But if you just click it once, it'll change it to two circles, which means it's stereo. Um, if you see that over here, that means this is a stereo out. If we click this once, it turns it into mono. And that's a, a great way to monitor your mixes in mono. Now, if you single click on this, there's a drop down menu. So you can be sure this is mono. We can go to stereo. Now, you can switch it to surround, but once you switch it to surround, it's going to change your output to surround, uh, which means this is, uh, uh, if you switch this back to mono, it's still going to leave your output in surround. So if you, if you turn it into a surround channel and you decide you want to go back to a regular mono or stereo track, you're going to need to remember to also change the output to just a regular stereo output. Does that make sense? Now we're back to normal. Um, and another way to look at this is with your, uh, your mixing channel or your mixing view, uh, same thing. It's just right up here. Um, and, oh, this is kind of interesting that it creates that. Um, I'm actually curious if, uh, if we shut this, if we do this. Huh, yeah, it creates two mono channels. Um, so that is that, folks. Um, if you have any questions about it, let me know. Uh, feel free to comment below, and if it was helpful to you, uh, feel free to like and subscribe, and as always, have a super cool one wherever you are, and I'll catch you on the next one. All right, take care.